Hey guys, welcome back to another scrap mechanic video and today I'm gonna show you guys how this crap works over here. As you can see I'm flying a mini rocket over here and it's just extremely tiny. Works with just a WAC thruster, a, um, a orienter, a number lock, a switch and some fins from the wings mod. That's pretty much it. So um, let's let's go right into it. How did I create this crap? Well, as you all know, the Orient block is made for like turrets, like this thing over here. This this thing is in predictive mode, by the way. So it tries to predict where we're going. That's why it's doing such weird stuff sometimes. Um, so basic setup is. Let me turn this off. This turns it off. It's just connected to the Orient block and basically Orient block goes into an engine and that controls the pitch. You don't really need a w, uh, yeah, WS converter, it, you can also directly input it like that. Um, and then for the AD you will need an AD converter and an engine. And then basically you can control the yaw like that. Now you can see that there is a Y button as well. This Y button will put you on the exception list, so this way it will not uh, target you anymore, but the other players. Um, this will only work for the closest player that presses on it, and that way he'll be put on the exception list. We chose white for the exception list, uh, so it's obvious that we use white for the uh, IDs of players. And if you use it actually in tracker mode, because we also have uh, not only player, but also tracker mode to tra uh, track trackers, uh, then you can target a specific tracker by inputting a number input into this tracker. And then basically you can pick up on a frequency on, on a specific target. Now, there's also gray and this gray. These only work for the predictive modes. You have uh, the P over here and here and here and here. And here yes we added predictive camera now um, the first gray changes the damping damping basically the lower you put it the more it'll oscillate like this the higher you put it the more it'll try to smooth out the, the transition now it's very difficult to get this perfect with a with a small thingy like this you would need to make a bigger turret to, to, to like smooth it out even more um, this gray is the lead so if you have a player and it's walking to there and it's lagging behind then you just put the lead higher if it's leading um, ahead the, the, the potatoes then you just make it lower easy easy peasy also these are percentages so also always out of 100. You can also put these negative, but I would not suggest so. Um, now, this is black, the black number input targets uh, basically closest. So if you put a uh, black input 2 into the Orient block, then you will get the second closest player. If you have minus 2, then you'll get the second furthest player. So negative is the furthest. And positive is closest so fifth closest it'll be the fifth closest friend if there are only three friends then it's the furthest friend so yeah minus one is the same as a very high number um, there's also two inputs that you can do or just one that you can do that are any other color so you have these four colors reserved for these over here so that was ID of our frequency damping, lead, and um, furthest, closest. And if you pick any other color as input, like for example these, then you will get the range. So if you only attach one of them, then it'll pick the max range. And if you give it a bigger number like this, then it'll only target within that range. So if I go out of range, then it will not tra target me anymore, and if I come in, in range, it will target me again. Now, if you attach a second one, then this is the minimum range, because this is the smallest number. 
If you make this number bigger than that one, then that is minimum range. It's always the range between these two. So if you make this like, like this, then you can perfectly stay with really close to it and it won't target you. And only when you get in a certain range, so further away from it, here it will target me. If I come closer, it won't target me. If I go further away again, then target me. All right, so that's, that's basically it um, for the inputs. Now, for the outputs, there is the distance. And yeah, we also already covered that with the, the math block that you can uh, have an output for WSD. Um, so there's also a distance output. Basically, it'll get the distance between the orient block and, and a player, for example, or a tracker. Or uh, for camera, it'll be... Yeah, basically also the player that it's, it's tracking the camera off. Um, that will also change so that you can take the distance by using the exometer. So you can just hook it up like this or like, like this. Doesn't really matter anymore then. Um, now, you've also noticed trying to create a rocket like that with this doesn't work. These modes are just not fit for them because this is a global mode and these are made for the rocket. These are local mode or basically uh, relative. So this one has a pitch and yaw and basically it's relative to the world. And this has a pitch and yaw that's relative to the creation itself, which makes it able to actually pitch and yaw the creation itself in a proper way to actually guide a missile. Now you can target players, trackers, camera there we go so that's the uh okay so we have every mode that's over here also in local mode now how did i start out i started out with the just a local player and well basically that didn't really work out too well you can see it rotating one thruster so it tries to fire at me but then as soon as it tries to go to me then yeah well that crap happens so, how did I improve that? I tried to have a stabilizer in it. I put a stabilizer in it. And well, that worked fine. Not perfect, but um, it worked all right. Okay, I take that back. It's terrible. Um, and then, 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 then. Then I got the local predictive. So that was a little thing to work out, wasn't easy, but uh, now it's predictive as well. So you can see it almost instantly targeting me, if it doesn't stick to the floor, of course. Are you kidding me? Okay, so apparently I had to modify some stuff. Um, I made this thing a while ago when I was still making the Orient block and the damping was a lot higher then. And yeah, so I had to attach some memory panels as you can see that put the damping a lot, lot, lot higher instead of a default value. The default value, value is quite low as to not mess up the uh, these over here, but uh, the yeah, this fish, the local mode, can have way higher damping values. As you can see, it works really well. Like, look at it. It's so nimble. I'm amazed by it. So, I'm wondering, I can probably... Oh, don't, don't destroy that crap over here, please. Okay. So, um, I'm wondering if I can put this value higher and I probably can because this has wings it basically already has serious damping and if you then try to use the damping inside the uh, actual script which is basically a pit loop then it'll create a de oscillation so you gotta keep gotta be careful if you use the wings don't put your damping too high because it's already pretty high thanks to the um, uh, what's it called the uh, the wings so yeah I'll put everything on the workshop 
Uh, let's quickly have a look at the rockets here. So, as you can see, that's also become terrible since I lost build it. So I'll need to reconfigure that with the no uh, damping and all that crap. But uh, yeah, there's also this type of rocket, which also seems to work. Though this one seems to work a little bit. Okay, never mind. Anyway, I'll be making them better then, because uh, yeah, I like this one. Improved this one quite a bit actually. Look at it. It's perfect. The fish. <laughs> oh god, I love it. So yeah, basically you'll need to configure your damping. It's really important. You can't just take the whatever and let it figure itself out. It's really important to actually configure the um, the damping. So if you disconnect it, it should work fine for like stuff like this to not connect it because it doesn't really need damping. But um, as soon as you go into cruisers and stuff, this one is actually using 32 damping at, at the moment because I'm using this button not only for a power value for the thruster but also for the damp value uh, of, of the, the orient block over here. Anyway, that's basically it. I hope I didn't skip anything. I don't think so anyway. So yeah, if you have any questions still, then put them down in the comments below. If you want to see something specific, be sure to ask it. Um, like for example, do you want to do a tutorial on Lua scripting? Yes, I'm probably gonna do that. Um, you might see it next week or maybe this week even. So yeah, I'll, I'll it's something to look out for. So anyway, see you in the next one. Goodbye.